Evening all, how's it going? Just put that on there. Huh. Right, yeah, what are we going to play tonight? That's the question. I might try and do a live uh, rendering Rangers uh, run. Might give it a go. Um, what I also need to do is what step is that? 507. 507. Need to put the new CPS core on you as well. Which I haven't got around to doing yet. Uh, how is everyone anyway? Good week. We'll have a go at game now in a second. All right, Bean, how's it going, mate? How's life? Um, I'm okay, thanks, buddy. I'm doing pretty well, actually, to be honest. Can't complain. It's all good, yourself? Doing okay? Got the, uh... I got the new Mr. Corbier just being released. I'll just chuck it in yet. I'll be doing it. We'll do a bit of rendering ranges then. I'll just copy this over quickly. I'll have to update it later or something. Right, now we go in. Uh we place all that. Um uh, one second, so we're in there. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. Always good when life is a little bit better. Can't fault that. I know sometimes life can uh, be a bit of a pain in the ass, really, can it? It's not all it's cracked up to be sometimes. <laughs> Unfortunately. But you got to struggle on. Just the way you got to go sometimes. Uh, copy that. Terry, well, Andy, I've been... Uh, I'm not using an FTP. I'm using Windows, but essentially. I've got a, um, the Mister set up as a drive on my uh, PC using uh, SMB shares which uh, you can turn on in the Mr. Menus it's quite handy uh, and there was one other thing it was an other what is other oh, okay that's cool that's interesting um, one sec The other one in there, and I think we done and dusted. Marvelous. At least I think we are. Oh, much better. But my my I uh, last like uh, day or two, I haven't put anything in it, so I think it's uh, healing up pretty fantastic. It hasn't really been bugging me either, which is cool. So I think uh, I think it's pretty much healed up. Or thereabouts. So I'm putting drops in there, so he hasn't been bugging me, so that's all good. Thanks for asking. But uh, yeah, so uh, I just want to get the other one over and done with now. I got the opticians on uh, Tuesday, so uh, they're going to tell me on what my eyesight is actually like. Now I've had the one done, and then uh, hopefully I'll be driving my car again. So I'm driving my car for months and months. So hopefully I'll be able to drive again for now. And then uh, I go in on the 18th. I got it booked in to go and see the specialist again. So hopefully I get the other eye booked in at the same time. Right? That's the plan anyway. Hopefully he'll do it pretty soon, pretty quick. All right, here we go then. Let me get back on the TV. Hey, here we go. Console games. SNES. <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully I'll get that one uh, booked in. Hopefully you can do it soon. So it's working. It's working out quite well so far, so I, I can't complain. Uh, rendering. Oh, I haven't got too far. I 
I managed to do a 1cc of this after. I checked it up on my site in the week. I had to do a little bit of safe state practice on the um, PlayStation Mini. So shoot map levels towards the end of the game. They're really tricky. But it's quite funny as well. One boss was I thought I was in the safe on. Um, I thought I was so safe I started texting on my phone and got killed. <laughs> so I thought it was quite funny. Yeah, I sealed up uh, pretty nicely then. Hopefully my eyesight is pretty decent. I think it is. I think I should be alright to drive over the next week. We'll see. Hopefully that's going to be the case. My uh, settings. Ah, right, okay, now I know what's going on. Right, okay. So. Right, I didn't realise before that the uh, the Elgato setting, because I did a recording, I put the sound up on the Elgato, but the Elgato setting goes across to all my profiles on uh, OBS. Right. Okay, I didn't know, I didn't realise that, but now I know it does that. <coughs> I thought each each profile was separate, but obviously not. The Elgato set it must just go across them all. Hopefully that's better. Hopefully that's much better. Yeah, what I was saying was that I found a pretty good route through the shoot map levels. And um Ah, oh, that was silly. Right, I am gonna start again. Hopefully you can hear me now. Yeah, I found a pretty good route through the shoot map levels. And I've said I was playing on the PS Mini. And as good as the PS Mini is, I, I could notice a slight slight change in the um, input lag. Is My um, my timing was slightly off. I adjusted it easy enough. But interesting that you, it is slightly notice, noticeable. I still think the PS Mini is pretty damn good for what it is. And the lag is quite minimal. Uh, here we go. Let's try again. This time, concentrate a little bit more. So hopefully, we can get this uh, 1cc done live. Oh, I missed it. Hopefully the sound levels are okay now. I know this game is... Uh, it's quite a loud one. It's a pretty long game as well. It took me a fair amount of time to actually do the replay. And I, I run through it pretty fast as well.
I would say they're probably one of the trickiest um, stages on this. Probably is this stage. Running stages, anyway. In some ways, this is more tricky than the uh, stages that come after. Tanking that bullet today as long as it don't fall off the platform. Okay, tanking too many bullets now. Sneaky fire then. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realise that um the Elgato setting basically goes across all my profiles. Now I do. I'll have to rem uh, remember that. I change it on any other profile. It's going to change on all of them. That's the worst of that over. Now I'm sure duck down there. Come on, I've got all. Ooh, I'll read that now in a minute. All right, Bill, how's it going? How's it going? <laughs> nice. That's cool. How's it going, Bill, anyway, right? We're going to try a live run of uh, Ranger and Rangers. I'm already making a few mistakes, but... We'll recover. Well, I'll try to, anyway. Got that. I got a shield anyway, so it's all good. Oh my Elgato. Mr. Robot. Let's <laughs> go, Bill. Anyway, how's life? Oh god, I killed that really fast then, that's crazy. How the hell did I kill that so fast? Second 360. Or Xbox 360. I've had so many of them consoles, it's crazy. I had three ages ago and thought, ah, I don't need three. So I sold one and then ended up buying another one, so I've still got buddy three. Ah, right, okay. Nice. Yeah, I would, I would really like to have one uh, with all the stuff on it. All the cave games. I should really look into be maybe doing one of the ones I've got. So they're pretty much useless online now anyway, so... <coughs> I still got a lot of the games on my... Um, on the one I was using for Xbox Live. I still got Outrun and um, all stuff like that. After Burner Climax. Thank you. 
Get a bit better at this bit. Oh, I got it then, as I as I say that. Yeah, that would be interesting. I think I probably want to buy another one. I've got the older Xboxes, so I, I probably want like the slim version. I know there's a guy on one of the forums that uh, sells them all done. Handy to have, like. Not if I can't play all the cave games on the original mic, but that was a sneaky bullet then. Damn. Uh, taking too many hits for you. slower. That's not bad. I won this chipped anyway. Well, it's, it's modded anyway, like, so I can, I can run backups on it. J tagging is the way to go. <coughs> I know where to get all the stuff. A bit of a pain in the ass to get though. It takes ages to be downloaded all. Now we got caught then, I could have just run for that. Yo, yo, I was going. Take my time a little bit more on this. I'm playing Rendering Rangers R2 on the SNES. Game that is stupidly expensive because they only got released in Japan, which is random, and uh, they didn't release many of them right at the end of the SNES's life. It's the guy who made the Turrican games, basically, did it. It's really expensive. You probably It probably costs about two grand now, something like that. It used to be about a grand and a half, probably about five years ago. Quite a good game actually. I didn't think it was that good to be honest before, but uh, now we've got into it. It's actually a pretty decent game. I quite like it. It's way better than Super Turrican uh, 2. That game is. Ugh. I'm gonna have to finish that, I suppose, but. Yeah, it was uh, Japanese only thing done by Manfred Trent. Yeah, same guy basically. <coughs> It's a bit more basic than the Terrican games, but um, you put some nice shoot-em-up levels and stuff in you. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Manfred, he, 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 
got, I think he just got better and better when it comes to the shoot map levels in these games, and um, it just makes me think that he could have actually made a shmup. Probably would have done pretty well. Shmup levels in this are good, but they, they're hard, basically. They are very tough. using this weapon, which I don't normally use on this bit. Oh, that works quite well. Actually, that might be the weapon to use on that bit. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah, I had one of them. Is it the SN3? That is the standard SNES uh, style pad, isn't it? I had one of them, and um, the only thing I'd say was it's, it's a nice pad, but the D-pad wasn't great on it. It was okay, but the, the angles were a little bit awkward. But I may have just had a dodgy one. I ended up... Um... Actually, I've still got it. I end up going back to a standard SNES pad in the end. That's right, don't be um they quite they are very nicely made those pads. Oh shit, that's a rock. I don't wanna uh, it's ruined after myself end and I ram in a rock. Ah, oh, we're an idiot. Engine now, basically. There's no way I'm going to be able to do a spot without losing life unless I get some engine. Okay, yeah, that's the start. NG, please be NG. No. I was looking at the um, 8 bit do, uh, the Pro Pad, the new one. I'd want a um, 2.4 gigahertz version. Might be quite handy for the Mister and that. Well, okay, this gives me a chance. Here we go. to survive that. <coughs> oh, on the green pads, way. Really. Right, okay, yeah, I had the um, the American style SNES one. It's okay, like, it works alright, it's just, it's a bit 
it's not quite to my liking when it comes to uh, using it for shmups or something like that. Back to the crazy repetitive music. I tell you what though, Manfred Trends definitely was a bit of a magician when it came to uh, programming for the SNES because there is literally no slowdown in this game at all. And I don't think this game used any special chips. I could be wrong, mine, but... All right, Dean, how's it going? What's up? Yeah, it's the Pro 2 I was looking at. Yeah, I know what you mean. I quite like the SNES pads as well. Yeah, hopefully yours has got a slightly better D-pad than mine. Yeah, we're going for a Dean, we're going for the 1cc. I failed on uh, on stream quite a few times now, but we're going for it this time. Don't take any unnecessary risks, because you don't need to. the first couple of shmup levels are not actually that bad. It's the next set of shmup levels that are solid. Right, okay, we're doing right, we're doing right. The only problem in this game is you can lose your life quite quick. Yeah, it's a good game. It's um, it's hard, mind. It's tricky. It does take a little bit of practice to get good at it, because um, even the run round levels, they're, they're fairly hard as well. It's the end of the game that's solid, is. One of the best way to do is to stay about by your... In the middle, you can kill everything. Um, it does look good. I, I've played the demos, and the demos are good. I, I may pick it up at some point. I can't at the moment because uh, I need to keep my money to get my uh, other eyes sorted. So at the moment, I can't buy anything. But yeah, it's it's one I'll probably end up picking up. It does look good. I would rather get Ratchet and Clank first, though, mine to be honest. And uh, Returnal. I think I, I think I'd rather them first. But we'll see. The demos were good. It's a nice looking game. 
I'm not sure whether I'd run it with the um, ray tracing on though. It doesn't make a huge difference to the game, but um, it does drop a little bit of performance with ray tracing on. I don't know. I know it's not much performance, but I don't. I think I'd probably end up running it without it. I did test the demo against my PC to see what sort of settings we were looking at. And at 4K, it's pretty much a match to my PC um, on medium settings of 4K. And that's not a bad thing, so it looks pretty awesome. It's not a huge difference between medium and high, to be honest. But yeah, it's a pretty damn good match for the PC. The pictures I took of it when I was looking at it, they look exact, to be honest. I don't know why we're doing being a little bit risky with that because I've already got it once. It's actually worth doing. my pod in his face. Yeah, I got it again then. And again. I got a gnat cock left again. I never quite get him down enough. Now, uh, if you hated seven, you're not going to like it. It's not the same as seven, but um, it is a continuation, so it's not you're not, you're not going to like it. Though I would say this one probably. From what I've played of it so far, it it seems better than seven. It's gonna go down in one hit. One power hit and he's dead. And he's dead anyway. Yeah, you're probably not going to like it either, I would say. <laughs> it is more improved on it. It is more of a shooter. It's more like the fourth game. Yeah, it's probably a, it's probably not a bad uh, shout to do up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like... I, I would say it's, it's like 7, but more open, but more li a bit more like uh, Resident Evil 4. So if you if you did like Resident Evil 4, you might like it. Yeah, it is good to remake. I still haven't got around to finishing that yet. I remember not get killed by these doors. I tried. Oh, 
shit, don't want to go up here then. Yeah, Res has got um, it's got really good reviews. Yeah, are you if you say if you don't like the first person view. Yeah, it's supposed to be good, the third remake. I, I've got it on my PC, but I'm going to run to playing it. My, my mate loved it, but he said it's short. Apparently, it's a lot shorter than the second one. Oh, that was silly. He said it was good though. I didn't actually get this thing. Safe and obviously not. Right, I keep forgetting about I got my specials. is quite minimal in this game. <laughs> Shared loads of weapons for you. Right, I gotta remember to keep running me up. Don't hang around.
And get that though, that's right. Now you've just got to run as fast as possible. If you stop here at all, you're screwed. Yeah, 4 was brilliant. See, this new one is a little bit more like 4. It's like a bit of a mix between 7 and 4. And there's not some more... There's not. It doesn't seem so much like scripted sequences and stuff. It is a little bit more shooty, if you know what I mean, than um, 7. From what I played of it, anyway. Walker from Star Wars, isn't he? It's to be quite easy when you know what to give stay in the same place either does it just the uh, bombs have a go with the demo the demo's still there it's going to stay there for a, about another week or so just download the demo it gives you two sections to play so I know just download it give it a try it's 10 gig it is See what you think. At least you get a chance to have a go there before you uh, would buy it. <coughs> Shit, what then? Oh, what a ooh! Why did I die so fast? What the hell? I'd like stop me with one energy or something. Right, this, this bit's going to be a bit awkward. Okay, we're good, we're good.
Now we're getting it. Way too much beer. Oh, I've lost all my energy. Shit. It's not good. Now I've got it again. I don't know whether you need to play seven. I hear it starts sort of right after, but I don't think you need to play it. I won't risk it then, I thought just use a bomb, get it over with. Good thing is, game, the bombs actually recharge. I changed weapon then. Well, we're not doing good on this level. It's all okay though. I could be okay if I carry on playing like this, mate. This bit. I cannot do this bit without getting hit. I always get hit in that bit. I, I don't even know if it's possible to do that bit without getting hit. Oh. Yo, yo, how's it going, mate? Yeah, try and do a life 1cc. May as well. I have lost a couple of lives in this level, though, which it hasn't gone too well. Unfortunately. I've still got plenty of lives though, so it's all good. It's just the next couple of shrub levels. I just need them to go well, basically. Nostril first off. Yeah, I had a nice run on the uh, one CC I put up. Apart from funnily dying on that one boss because I was texting on my phone. <laughs> That's quite funny. I thought I was in a safe spot, but it wasn't.
But that, that thing has got a massive hitbox. Oh. I think it might be, but I always tend to get hit. It probably is possible to get through. I'm just in. The ship's got a weird hitbox. It's not as wide as the ship. You get less hit in the front than you do on the back. Um, I think I need that level, that weapon, really. But oh well. It's not powered up, so it's not going to help me much. The first missiles, you can stay there, and you're pretty much safe. <coughs> the second set of missiles, I haven't found a safe spot on it. Sometimes you're safe in a position that I'm going to end up going into. You stay over there, and sometimes you're safe, but not always. I need to use my my bombs quite a bit in this bit. Otherwise you're just gonna get slaughtered like what's happening to me over there. The only problem with this this level, unless you've got the right weapons, you're screwed. Well, yeah, this is going to go really badly. Dodge out then. They're very hard to kill, but you can kill the gun turret underneath them. about that, I think. I don't want to use too many of my bombs if I can help it. Right, sometimes you're safe there. We shall see. Got it. One more, I'm dead. Well, okay, I was reasonably safe, eh? Yeah, it's really smooth. It's these shoot my bits, it is. They're, they're tough as hell. The next two levels are even harder. Six lives is a bit ropey. Depends how I do on the next uh, the next couple of levels.
very hard not to get hit in this game. See what I mean? Very hard not to get hit in this game. Right, there's some more power-ups around you or I think. I had, a, I had a pretty good run in my 1cc. I don't think this weapon's going to be good enough. Yeah, it is, yeah. I've only got five lives on. This is what I don't like. There is three lives on the next level, but they're quite tricky to get. And I am going to die once or twice on the next level because you basically your ship's not fast enough. so hopefully I don't get hit. Um, I am going to die a lot on this level. So you're not quite fast enough. Shit. Went the wrong way. Should have gone down the bottom. Right, extra life. Need to get the next extra life as well. I got it. That's right. I don't mind dying to get it. Nice. This is where you're just not fast enough to get through it. It's just you ain't getting through that basically. All that. There's no speed change in this on the ship either, so... Uh, what happened then? Oh, what the hell? I don't even know how I died then. Oh well. Whew, here we go then. Right, you're pretty safe by it. I'm going to have to take my time on these bosses. <laughs> and hopefully I can get some power-ups. I 
I oh, put my weapon levels are a bit shit, so. It's quite a nice little safe spot, this one. Now I need to get rid of. Uh, I need to get rid of that. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yep, it's not funny with crappy weapons. Ah, oh, my goodness, by the ship, man, that was stupid. I need a couple of bombs, basically. Don't want to die again. That's the most powerful it's bomb. Oh man, this is not looking good for a 1cc. Not at all. Come on, bomb, charge. Well, this is definitely not looking good. <laughs> okay, we made it through there. Get rid of all the outside bits on this uh, on this ship. And then he's pretty easy then, basically. It's just going to take time. I don't mind. I'm going to take it. I'm not going to try and rush it. take a while to kill him but you need some smart bombs for the end of it as well Boat. 
it's all bloody boss rush basically from here on. I got a reasonably sneaky safe spot on the uh, last boss on this stage as well. And open up. I could use my super to kill him fast, but um, it's handy to have three supers when you actually do kill him. But he's not dead. This is why I need the free supers. Ah. Okay, we're looking a bit better. What which boss is this? Die, 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 that's it. We're getting there. Back off now in a second. Not dead. But well, that would have killed him off. Right. 
Right, one more, one more sub boss, and then the main boss, I think. Almost dead. Come on, day block. Right, hang on then. The but uh, I don't think the bosses do time out. I am well, I haven't timed one of them out anyway. Put it that way. Yeah, you're not fast enough, basically, to do a tunnel section. It's really difficult to do it without losing uh, a life or two. This is why it's quite handy to know where those extra lives are. Because you'll need them, basically, to get through the tunnel section. Right then. Hopefully, I can get in this cheeky safe spot. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm in it. Basically, you just got to stay here. I'm not actually doing any damage to the boss at the moment, though, so... Take your time, basically. That would be a nightmare if you had to stay out at the back and actually dodge that, which is obviously the idea of you doing that, but that would be hard work. I think you'd have to hope to get to this section with some smart bombs. Moved out soon, very shortly. I'm going to be a player safe, so I'm just going to wait. Last ones are taking quite a bit few shots to die. Right, when they come back down, I'll do the, the smart bomb. I'm still got hang here though. This is where I was texting on my uh, replay I did. I forgot I should have sh swapped to this weapon. If you swap to this weapon, you're pretty safe. So, <laughs> I did a stupid death because I was texting on my phone. I don't think I'm actually hitting him. Nope, I'm not hitting him. Now I'm hitting him. That'll be good. Well, I definitely clawed back some lives, so... I did think the run was going to be over. <sighs> you 
Yeah, you see, these last couple of levels on this game are really tricky. Yeah, I forgot you need this weapon to be safe, basically. It's just basically a waiting game. You can use more powerful weapons, but um, you're pretty much guaranteed to get it. I knew you got it then. Almost dead. Hey. We got it. Last level, no. Yeah, that's pretty much what I did when I was uh, I was texting. This is the weapon I want as well. Um, it's quite hard not to get it by the drips on this level. You just gotta take your time with this game. Got it then. Jumped a little bit too far forward then. My energy's not great. You just gotta take your time. Make sure you shoot all the spikes. Ah, oh, damn. That was silly. Come on, spike. I found that this is probably the best weapon for this section. There is some energy up here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to it. <laughs> ah, no! Oh well, that'll teach me. I might as well do a runner through it, will it? ceiling. Wanna get hit? Almost to the last boss.
Right. <laughs> Here we go. Pretty sure they don't hit you. But they do, I, I, I remember right. Me. They don't hit you either. Happy days. got quite a few different forms this boss has. Sticky health, me as well. <laughs> ah, damn. Basically, you want one of them to come up there, you want to get another one. That's it. If you get two of them to appear like that, they literally, you can't do it. Uh -huh. Perfect position, that is. Yeah, um, special messes up here sometimes. It goes all weird and see through. This is the um, last phase as well. Dead. Well, that's it.
Julio. Ready, ya, top. Chills. It's a little bit messy, but I managed to recover it. Ta you I can get this out of my system now. Oh, see, I don't want to do it. But I might have to try and do Super Turrican. I really don't want to do it. Uh, Super Turrican too. And then once I've done that, I've essentially completed all the Turrican S games. Oh, I don't think I want to do it. really annoying Super Turrican 2. It's not, it's not particularly a very good game. Manfred's in this. Maybe it's quite a popular name in Germany. <laughs> Maybe he did. Maybe that's him. Manfred Kramer. Then again, he'd be trains, wouldn't he? So, uh... Creamer seems quite a popular name, don't they? <laughs> yeah, I used to think this game wasn't actually that good, but after playing it a fair amount, it's quite a decent game, actually. It's quite good, it's pretty good. But it's basically more of a plain shooter mind <laughs> compared to the Turrican games. Mr. Watch of Credits, why not? Michael Bittner. <laughs> yeah, I've put it back on as well because it's on Game Pass and I've been playing it. Oh, you, 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 you've got to do it. The game just got, starts getting crazy from there on. Once you start going for the second and uh, third playthrough, it, it just gets even better. Could be a brother for another mother. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say it's more of a shmup. It's definitely the shmup levels are definitely longer than the gun levels. <laughs> do, do, do. Don't mind for put my naming, so don't save anything. But yay! Right, yeah, okay, okay. I don't know why. Um, we've got a hankering for playing. Um, Ah, how am I going to do it? Do I need to change my buttons? That's a question. I did get used to it with the jump button, so... 
Oh, do I need to change my buttons? I probably do. Fancy playing this. Let's just do it, shall we? I'm going to change my buttons for this. Right, left. Uh, down, up, fire. Two, one, two, three. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see if I can still remember how to do it. Right. Did I use all the fire in this? I think I did. Oh, I got the controls wrong. Left, down, up, fire. Yeah. Couldn't have used all the fire. You need. Don't know why I fancy playing the Amiga one again, but let's do it. Right, I've got to get used to the. Uh, I'm about to do it now, I think. you got to get used to the uh, swinging in this. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, well. I tried to get it there. Yeah, it's on Game Pass. I haven't long been put on there either. It's going to take me a while to get used to the bloody swinging mechanic again. It's way easier than uh, Mega Trollcon as well. How do you... Fireballs. Down, down, down. But this extra life beer is quite tricky to get. Right, tricky extra life.
Um, I want this extra life out. Uh, I'm quite, oh, I'm quite got the hang of. Uh, I still remember it, players. <sighs> I think this is uh, one of the best Hurricane games. Tell me, everyone's up, man. Love the music in this game. an extra life up here as well. Oh, I said I forgot about that. Remember how you're getting there now? Actually, I don't need to go in here, I don't think. Go in the right way. Actually, I want to grab it. How much time I got? That's what I want. Ooh, that's how you get in there. Interesting. So you got one chance to get in there then. Oh, you bastard. Well, that's annoying. That is the first time I've died by you. I wish I was there. I don't want to know. I want that weapon at it.
Wasted a couple of lives then. There's another one up here anyway. That is tricky to get into. Uh, turning into the ball doesn't always work. That's it. Oh, it's out of time. Oh, shit. It was a waste of time getting that life then, wasn't it? Time obviously didn't reset when I got to this level then. This is a really bad weapon to do this boss. Um, any weapons. Ah, oh, shit. This is not good. Probably means I'm going to die. So it's probably the worst weapon you can have to fight this boss. Actually, there's a secret bit down here, which I might need to get to. Aha. This might give me a weapon, hopefully. Give me a weapon. Ooh. I was lucky. I did not want to fight that boss with that weapon. Yeah, if you if you get there with that weapon, you literally can't hit it. It's very hard indeed to hit this boss. I'm being very lucky actually with these uh, kills. I'm incredibly lucky. That was way harder on the Mega Drive one. In fact, the entire game is way harder on the Mega Drive one. Oh, 
damage coming out. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that jump in. Yeah, a bit of turk, isn't it? I just done rendering regions, so I thought uh I'd have a go with uh, the Amiga Turk of Free. I've no idea how to get me. How's it going mate anyway, right? Enjoyed your stream last night. I hope you enjoyed my random uh my random selects when you ask about games. <laughs> I like a bit of random games. I thought I'd be sure they haven't got it. Right, this bit's a bit of a pain. I can get this down here, but it's a bit hard to get. I got it, I got it. Yeah, I completed. I just did it now. It wasn't a, an amazing run on it, but I did it. I think there's a couple of extra lives on this stage if you look around. That's definitely not an extra life. Have a look around. Laser shield, shield power up. It's all going on, man. Spread weapon to be well useful on this level. There's another one up on you somewhere. Hang on, what's my time looking like? I 
Ooh. Oh, okay, never seen that before. Oh, that's crap. Check it, Amigo, and you can't go. You can't go down slowly. Yeah, random games are good. Ah, oh, come on, look off. I've got to get behind it. Come on, don't hit me. I say swing forward. Grim is it was a bit of a nightmare cut off, but oh well, happens sometimes, doesn't it? Let's work on the key now, is it? Nice. Yeah, sidearms is, sidearms is an hard one. Let's remind you of Robocod. Well, I can't hang around on this level. Plus, sometimes you're not quite sure where the next jump is. I'm sure there's one jump on this that you can't quite work out where it is. Oh, I did it. Okay, cool. You may switch off the route. <laughs> Nightmare. Yeah, it didn't take long and you come back. It's happened to me as well. It goes off, it's just bad right, though. No. I didn't want rebound. Never know it then. Oh god, I didn't want rebound. Great, I gotta fight this bomb boss of rebound. Oh, actually, it's not too bad.
Could be worse. Got it. Ah, who knows? <laughs> Why am I picking up the rebound weapon? That's a weapon you want. Uh, you came back quick enough, but you you were only off for about a minute, so it's all good. Found you again. Oh, that's Andy. Yeah, definitely easier to watch. I try using as a 43. Oh, <laughs> pick up the worst weapon again. This weapon is actually quite powerful, but. Bombs on the big of it. Andy for this bit. Um, all right, I'll keep this weapon. Um, should have gone the wrong side of that. Yeah, I'm on a 43 inch telly plugged into my PC. Quite nice. Right, I'm gonna have to do a lot of jumping and gripping. Gripping and jumping. There's gonna be hard work. These are a power up, one up. Are right, you we going? Yeah. 
Thought we'd have killed him in. Strange noises, man. Oh, I hate these things to jump in. Fuck <laughs> oh, you, bastard. Ah, oh, God, here we go. I press the button then. I also. <sighs> it's a pain in the ass because you thought they've, they've got a little lip on their head, but they. And if you basically run and fall off that lip, it cancels your jump out. Like that. And I'm going to have to go up this bit two times as well. There's an extra life in here. No, nope, maybe not then. Take our back. Have to be me. It really is. Oh, actually, uh, I shouldn't have done that. No! I'll do it. Oh, come on! This is not a frustrating jumping bit of it. Honestly, it really isn't. Really easy. Simple. No problems, to get, no problems at all. Easy. Don't even know what I'm doing. <sighs> right. <sighs> this bit's like the boss of the level. Up this way instead. Right, okay. Past it. Right, I'm not going to go looking. Good, good, empty enemies. <laughs> this is the hardest bit on you, Miga. It's doing this bit. Shield will last it longer then. Strange enemies. I can never get that. Oh, yeah, I didn't want to do that. The problem with this is you can't take too long. I'm not even totally sure I'm actually going the right way. I've got this really bad feeling I'm going the wrong way. Yep, I think I am. Yep, going the wrong way. Oh, 
thought I was going the wrong way. Yeah, it's just a bit of a pain in the ass, these levels. I'd find your way through them. I'm playing with a stick, I am. <laughs> I do have a pad connected to the Mister as well, but um, yeah, I'm playing with a stick. This was the way to go after. I think this would be quite. I don't know, it'd probably be alright in a pad, but it might be a little bit tricky due to the way you've got to do that grapple thing. Shield, raise, least multiple. Then I'm wrong. I do play in a pad most of the time, to be honest. Uh, on a stick, sorry. Pretty sure there's, uh... Oh, I thought you weren't going to move then. Thought it was going to be nice to me. It's a little bit awkward the way you've got to do this. I literally got a whole fire button down to do the the block, then you let go of it, and then you basically you basically press the button to jump, and then you've got to hold the button in to get up to the top, and then you hold it in and press fire, and it then grips you. Don't ask. It's a it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it's a bit of a massive pain how you've got to do it. Oh, he's a bit jumpy, isn't he? Oh, done it. Yeah, I like using a stick as well. Damn, I need to wait, I think. <laughs> this level could be a little bit tricky. Forgot about this. Angie's crap. One hit and I'm dead. Crazy jumping bits. Oh, come on, get the NG. Oh, nice, nice, nice.
Got to be quite precise on this bit. Like that. Got to run right to the edge of these platforms. Another bit coming up. Oh, extra life. Oh, I made it. I tend to play a bit of a mix of pad and stick, but generally I tend to play more on the stick. I say some games don't work on stick, like some SNES games where you've got to use the, um, the LMRs. Sometimes they don't quite work on a stick, or it's awkward, if you know what I mean. Unfortunately, I can't actually pause this game, so it's a bit hard to read the chat, sorry. <laughs> Been doing a piss poor way of reading the chat. Go, 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 go. It's an odd sound in enemies. Don't think this is the way to go, but... Should hopefully get a marker come up in a second and tell me. No, it's definitely another way to go. So it's that way. Where do I go now then? So that's down. Ah, I gotta get me. I got. Come on, get off! That's what I wanted to do. Uh, I've got to go. No, let's go down. Don't hang around too much because you can you can lose all your energy quite easy. Power up. Let's go the way it says. The scene in chat. Yeah, fighters and shmups and stuff like that, platform games work really well. It's just I find sometimes with stairs games. If you've got to use the L and R's, like if you're playing Contra or something, you've got to hold L and R to stay in position. It can be a little bit awkward on the stick how you've got it set up. But apart from our stick works for most things, you know. Stick is definitely more accurate than the pad. But it's all we're used to at the end of the day, like. Ah, oh, shit, that was the wrong way as well. Uh. Yeah, shoulder buttons are really awkward when it comes to stick. Half time, you haven't got enough fingers. Wow. 
I'll deal with the shield. Strange out to enemies. I wish I could get this text slightly bigger on this um, iPad app. Would be quite good if I could. Be a little bit easier to see it. Kill that pretty fast. No, I can't change it. It's a little bit small. It's a little bit awkward. It's a little bit awkward. See. I can see it, but I gotta stay there a bit. Like I tried increasing the font, and it doesn't seem to make a difference. But then I have had the app go a bit funny sometimes, and it look the the actual um, chat goes massive. So I don't know whether that's just a glitch or, but hopefully you can do it. Ah, I got killed by that then. What? Ah, I can't believe that. Shame I got killed then. Nope. Oh, it's a shitty weapon to fight this guy. I just use my bombs on him. If there's a an extra life up here, nope. Then again, I've got plenty of extra lives to be honest. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm not actually working now. I'm off work for another three months until I get my ride done. So I need to have glasses and stuff, really. It's a bit hard like to sit there and try and do PC stuff, you know? So, I put in a thing for another three months off. That should give me time to get my, uh, my eyes sorted. This bit is a royal pain in the ass.
So hopefully that'll give me enough time to get my other eye sorted. Well, I blew that up in. And then I'll be back to work. It's probably one of the hardest bits in the game, is <laughs> it? Especially with the way this bloody controls. That's one of the hardest jumps, is that a bit? Right, let's see if my missiles will take this out. Can. Oh no! You gotta stand right on the edge of that. may take a while, guys. <sighs> Try to get up it on the other side. Okay, now we're good, now we're good, now we're good. I might get it a couple of times, that's right. Oh, you bastard. fun. this bit. This is the last jump as well. Oh, I got it. Make sure I don't get it back off. What a stupid weapon I picked for this. Safe forever that spot, is it? Oh, I don't know, that's pretty good. Safe spot. Yeah, I'm still off. Thing is, uh, I need to get glasses and stuff as well, so it's like it's a bit awkward. Right, I've got plenty of lives basically just to spam the bombs.
Damn, I thought that was going to disappear. Expect them to come back up in. Oh, fuck it off. An awkward fight in here. Because you can't do it you can't do the ball thing fast. I say here is a guy. Oh my arm. Oh, yours is working on the diagonals, is it? Ah, oh, right, it's not working properly. Yeah, mine was doing the same. It works. As long as you're pushing up, down, left, right, it's fine. But the, the angles on it, the Mega Drive pads are brilliant. Ah, that's a shame that your one's got the same sort of issue as mine. Yeah, that's why I'm a little bit worried about the pro pad if I ever pick one of them up because they look like they use the same D pad. I quite like a Sony Amiga, it's pretty good. Probably is my favourite Amiga game. There's probably a lot more out there that I haven't played though, so... Does have the added thing of really good music, so can't complain. Yeah, I wish I could change this font. It's a pain in the ass. If I could have this font a bit bigger, like make the uh, the window a little bit smaller, make the font actually bigger. No, it was New Geo only on it. Basically, it was. Um, they didn't release it on anything else, but it's coming out on Switch, isn't it? And uh, no, but hardly any bug has put any uh, videos up of it either. I like, see. There's no way of me stretching this. There's no way of me making that smaller. So looking if there's a way way to do it. Quality captions and available playback.
don't know what that is. What's that do? Ah, order playoff. Yeah, it looks quite good, Region. They're selling the Switch one, aren't they, in about um, a week or so's time. Tempted to pick it up. It depends how much it is. Like I said, I'm a little bit... Can't really spend anything at the moment. No, they didn't release it on ROM. Uh, the reason not is because all those cartridges by ND, NG Dev Team have all got special chips in the cartridges. So you won't find a ROM of it. It's the same with Gunlord and uh, Fast Striker and the other ones they've done. There's no ROMs. Cool. Uh, let's have a look. PC Engine. Let's play uh, Kaizo Shoujin. <laughs> I still quite like playing another game. So I've never go there. Just fun in between stuff. Nice, easy, take it easy, nothing too crazy. Uh, kind of new, Kaiser of Chosen, Shibuya Van. Let's see how long it takes for a blast through this. Yeah, it's another game. It's, it, you won't find a ROM of it. She was a girl this time. Ah, I thought I might be able to avoid that then. Angie's grab. Yeah, they use some extra chips and stuff they did, so um I don't think ROMs are possible. You could probably do it on the FPGA, whatever chips they could they could probably you know replicate the chips on it to do them, but I doubt very much they're gonna actually uh, do that to them. They still haven't released Crowdbuster either. Well, it has been released. I think the first batch has gone out, but uh, the second batch is going to take about a year. Ah, uh, what am I making out then? Sit and go through it. That's interesting. Didn't know you could do that. Actually skip that wall. I didn't know you could do that. My god, I found a strat that's gonna save some time. Oh, that's a channel I haven't seen for ages, Luke Moss.
I almost feel sorry for that guy. Hey, well, this is a pretty fast run on this so far. And to it as well. Yeah, I'll have to have a look at his charm. I've seen his channel for a while. I don't know if he's got it, he did have a complete set of PGM games as well. I remember doing a video of like a wall of PGM. Okay, we're safe, that's good. Oh, where they gone? Well, they disappeared, eh? This is not good. Not good at all. Oh, two energy is really not good. but quite badly. 
one game being a... Uh, what did I get it by then? Oh, I held that down for too long. Shit, that's not good. My dive here now. Okay, we did it, we did it. Yeah, I like his channel as well. Eccentric is. I guess it was cool, sir. Pinch of the NG. Let's see if I can get her fast. She took a quite a lot of hits in. Directly down into it. Oh, I missed him. Oh, 
To be still posting videos then, is he Luke Morse? You have to check his channel out. He normally has quite a lot of interest in like arcade stuff and stuff he puts on, isn't he? best position to be in then. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'll have to check out his channel. Yeah, he has got a bit unfortunate. He, he has got a bit of weird personal history going on. Shouldn't get trolled for it though. Just people are assholes to me, basically. Or people can be assholes, you know? <laughs> Oh, you got me. You moved, eh? Ah, uh, right, okay. Uh, that's a shame. If you want hoarding, check out. Um, I'll have to think of his name. Uh, oh, what's his name? I'll have to find his channel. He's a proper order man. He just hoards stupidly expensive games. That's what he does. He's got quite famous lately as well in Japan for doing it. He's been on like TV shows and stuff. He's nuts as well. He's got four houses in Tokyo. And they literally just to put his games in. Ah. This bit's a bit weird on the jumping. No, it's not last gamer. This guy's nuts. He's basically he's filled a house full of superly expensive games, and he sits in a little hole in the middle of the house, and he streams every week as well from this from this hole, and he puts videos out all the time of him buying random stuff. He'll just buy random games or just like mystery box games, and and he puts videos out all the time of him doing this, and he's basically he's got another house. Which is completely full. Ah, oh, I can't believe I died. It was such a nice run then as well. And he's got a third house, which literally he did a tour to his third house. He couldn't get in the house because there was so much crap in it. He had to take stuff out of the house to get into it. 
His name is Fujita? Fujita something? He is a proper hoarder, but he hoards games. Can't believe I died. Oh, I died twice. Uh, sometimes our last boss is random. Yeah, in, in Tokyo as well. Uh, how much is it costing him like to keep four houses in Tokyo? Um, I'll find him if you know. It's worth a watch. This guy, he's nuts basically. Uh, like I say, he's, he's been on uh, a couple of different like shows and all lately. And he's been on some Japanese TV shows and stuff. Just showing his, his uh, hoarding his houses for the crap. Fujita, I think it's Fujita. Yeah, that's him. I got him. Channel Fujita. Uh, see if I can post it. It might not let me do it. You know, YouTube likes a bit tetchy when it comes to stuff like that. No, I won't let me do it. Damn it. Uh, well, let me post it. Uh, if I try clicking on one of his videos and then post the video. He seems a happy fellow, I got a bit. But uh, he's got a stupid amount of stuff, it's not. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, when you get a chance, have a look at that. He's literally got four houses. Yep, Channel Fujita. <laughs> he buys, if you look in the background, on every one of his videos, in the background, there's boxes everywhere. It's because it's all the shit he's bought he, have no, he hasn't opened. He, I, I don't know how much he's spending, but I reckon he, he's probably spending probably close to a thousand quid a week, maybe more, on games. And um, he's got, <laughs> it's funny, on, on the one video, he goes to the house and just randomly full of games. And on the side, there's a there's like a bag hanging. He goes, oh, what's in the bag? So he opens up. He goes, oh, so it's a gimmick cartridge, which is worth like, I don't know, cost about 800 quid in Japan. Right. And it's, there's, a, there's a carrier bag full of eight gimmick cartridges. He said, uh, sorry, five of them. He's like, why have you got five cartridges? He's like, well, it's, it's basically, it's one to play, one to keep. One just in case I lose that one. Uh, another one basically so I can play over here and just the other one spare. And he, he continuously buys games because he doesn't he can't remember where he's put them. So he, he'll put them in the house up somewhere. He can't remember where he's put them, so he'll just buy it again. Oh, he's got a patron going to be. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, man. He's a nut that he is, that guy is. He's a proper, he's a proper hoarder. Like he, he just he hoards really cool shit. But he, he lives. If if you get to watch one video, he shows his bathroom. His bathroom is full of games, and he's got a little corner with a little shower head, and he literally showers in that little corner. Yep, fun the habit. Uh, right then. So what should we do? Tell you what we do. Um, if I actually, I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna reset this. Yeah, he, he's he's not food reader. Wait for my network to come back up, and I'll uh, run the script. That's mad. He's got a patron to fund his habit. <laughs> uh, funny. He's worth following as well because the amount of stuff he puts up is, even though you can't understand what he's saying, but it, it just 
see the amount of stuff he's buying. And at one point, he was buying... Um, you could get uh, cartridges for the SNES and the Game Boy. In Japan, you go up to like a kiosk and you program a game on it. Well, he was buying hundreds of these cartridges in mystery boxes. So he'd have a box full of these cartridges and he was doing episodes where he was literally going through them to see what was on them. And so he has no idea what's on them. And he's there buying these cartridges. And I was just like... Half the time, there's this one adventure game. They follow just the one adventure game. It wouldn't surprise me if he had a Patreon. <laughs> he probably has. And he's getting all his um, stuff from Surigaya, which is a really cool shop, Surigaya is. I went in here when I was when I was in Japan. It's it's behind it's in Akihabara, but it's behind um on the on the streets on behind so you basically gotta go look at it and it doesn't look like a shop. But he's buying all this stuff from there, so Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could rewrite, but these these are like um they did SNES cartridges and uh, Game Boy ones as well. But yeah, he's got four houses, man. Houses in in Japan. You're talking just a one a one room apartment in Japan is about eight hundred pound a month, and but he's got four houses, full of full of shit. I say shit. It's full of really cool stuff. Yeah, rewritable cards. There's Game Boy ones as well. I wasn't quite sure where they were originally, but I, I seen the video. I was like. Where are they? But uh, that's where they are. <laughs> it's like, stop shooting. What's the time? Ooh, but yeah, 20 past 11. <laughs> Um, I might be. I I do love your your um your recommendations. You know me. I don't know. It's programmed onto a chip, I suppose. So it probably it doesn't get erased. I'm always up for taking a bit of request. <laughs> Does my old random there? I tell you what, if I had this on yet, yeah, I'd be playing it. Go go, Mister Yamagochi. I've got it on the um, PlayStation Mini. That's a cool game, man. It's go go, Mister. You want to check it out? Check it out on me. It's it's pretty good. It's an old game and it's a very old style, but it's it's actually pretty decent. I quite like it. Go, go, Mr. Yamaguchi. <laughs> yeah, it's either Yamaguchi or Yamaguchi. Go, go, Mr. Yamaguchi. It's quite a, it's, it's, it's quite a cool little old style game. Go, go, Mr. Yamaguchi. Go go yeah, that's it. Go go you Mr Yamaguchi. It's Gucci, not Gucci. Nineteen eighty five. Konami Connection Volume Two, okay. Once this is uh done his thing, we'll uh, we'll have a go. Is it Tato? I'm not sure who made it. It might be Tato. It is a it is a cool little arcade game. It's nicely well made. It's hard as well. Go go, Mr. Yamaguchi. I don't know if it was based on anything. Main player. 
That's what he calls himself. Uh, come on, turn. I gotta go in beer. It's a game by color, is it? It's a good arcade game, Alice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where am I downloading? Street Alpha 2, USA. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Surprise, there must be new versions of the ROMs. Keep your main files that already exist. Right, once we've done this, we'll uh, we'll try it out. Didn't think it'd be downloading them though. I should have them on you. So one thing would be a little bit nicer if I suppose if you wired you missed it. I could actually do that actually. I do have a wire. I probably could wire it. It's Andy having the um, the wireless dongle, but it's not the fastest in the world. It's okay, like it's it's pretty decent for checking small amounts of files on there. It's handy. So it's ultimately having it uh, wired to be the one. Yeah, it's on Mame. It is. Oh, I regret kicking this update off now. Oh well, shouldn't take too long. Again, about a mega second, so it's not too bad. It's four of them, is it? Four games each. Yeah, pity they don't do any. Why? There's no faster dongles for the um, Mister, I think, because the hub itself is only uh, USB two, so it's only so fast you can go essentially. But it, it does have a network port on it, but unfortunately, the network port is right in the front, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass. They were obviously with the Mister. It was uh, they didn't care where the ports went, so you got random ports on one side, random ports on the other side. And then you got the USB hub underneath with all that ports. So you end up having like wires all over the place. I got it looking pretty tidy, the mister, but. <laughs> no, it's not USB C. It's a development board, isn't it, basically, or a board that's meant to go into um, manufacturing and stuff. So that's why he uses a manufacturing. Um, a manufacturing sort of level component so basically it can get really hot and still run so it can be put into a box with no cooling and essentially it'll run still at almost 100 degrees it'll still work that's the one good thing about the mister it is well made what the hell is it downloading now I had all these ROMs before, so I don't know why exactly it's downloading them again, unless there's new versions come out. <laughs> yeah, it's all over the place. <laughs> like, my one don't look too bad. I've got all the ki I, I've got, like, all the stuff in the side. I've got, like, small form factor type USB connectors, so they're not sticking out very far, but on the other side there, and i got my joystick connections. And then um, everything else is rooted out the back. Yeah, zero two, a school game has. I've already got it on you though, so I don't know why it's. Uh... Any problem? I don't want to stop it now because uh, it might might screw something up. Right, that's a new one. I think. Vampire Hunter two. I don't know. If it... I think there was a couple of um. Arcade games are kicked off then as well. Some new cores. Well, didn't think it was going to take this long. Come on. It's the update stream. <laughs> Watch Mr. Update in real time. 
That's what it's all about. That's where the excitement is. Bollocks to playing the games. It's the updates is where it's at. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's riveting stuff. Quite big, some of those ROMs, eh? 100, 100 meg. What the hell? That was a face size arcade room. Got it. Uh, hang on. No, we're still going. We're still going. Um, oh, it's where it is definitely where the party is. What we're we doing here with um, basically it's Mister updating Mister Live. That's what it's all about. Yeah, damn right. The party is here. It's all going on here. Nothing else matters. I can uh, I can hear the music. I got the lines of coke going. I got the I got the vodka and everything. It's all happening here, Mister Live. <laughs> That's a pretty good day for a pub, isn't it, the COVID arms? <laughs> Might not go down too well. <laughs> or full on hype. It organises this stuff quite often, if you noticed. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Oof. There you go, there you go. Right, so, what were we going for? Console, game by colour. Uh, <laughs> it was number two, you said, wasn't it? The Namco collection, number two. Four games. Konami collection, volume two. Okay. Do I have it? Is that... Japanese or uh, Konami Konami Collection Volume Two Nintendo <laughs> The Broken Arms is a good one as well, mate. That's a nickname for a pub near you, is it? <laughs> right. Oh, here we go, eh? Let's come up in black and white, then. Did pick the colour code, didn't I? Hang on, then. Did I pick the wrong ROM? Uh, ah, yeah, Game Boy ROMs, that's right. Wrong one, sorry. Game Boy Colour. Uh, it's not there. Is it definitely game by color dragon? Um, uh, let's try the. No Konami. Uh, it is definitely Game Boy Color version, is it? Is it difficult Konami connection on the color? Because it's not there. Unless I haven't got it, of course. But I'm pretty sure this is the complete list. Uh, okay. Wow, Konami Connection Volume 2, European. 
Oh dear. Could have a go with that after, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, they were Euro exclusives, right? I found it. <laughs> the block game. Good name. Do, 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 do. I've heard that music before. On the MSX. Okay. Let's go from let's go from simple up, shall we? Let's go for Ogre. It's an old game for Ogre, isn't it? What is that song? One on the uh, left is going to be tricky. Right, hopefully this don't disappear. Got it. Definitely missed the backlight mod. Ah, I got crocs though. I'm gonna have to go for this left one first. Oh, it's a crocodile here. That's the hardest one. Okay, so far. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mind it. Popeye was cool, wasn't it? I used to quite like the Popeye arcade game. That's not the mister. There's a call for that. Okay, that, that won't go too well then. Oh, 
Come on, Croc, pick it off. Hmm? Yeah, when Licensed Frog, it was really famous back in the day, wasn't it? Snakes as well, though. That's not good. No, they're gonna have to go for that. Uh... Yeah, I remember Super Cobra. Never had it in television. No, I shouldn't have done it too fast. Damn it. Trying to do it too fancy now. the last one was it? I know that frog collection. It's quite good that frog collection isn't it? I'm thinking of the same right one of course. Now we've got snakes. Snakes on a log. Ah no. Dies in water he's a frog. Right, okay that's frog. Eh? Oh actually can we go back from here? We're gonna do a reset. Yep. No, oh, I am playing that bootleg one. <laughs> Go for track and field. been updated. Event one. This is still two buttons. Right, okay. This tells you where the buttons are. Which one's me? Do this one. Uh, why am I doing the dash again? Okay. So we're gonna. Go to the next event. Okay. Uh, change the event, right? Okay. Throw the long jump. Yeah, the cool, sp the speech is cool, isn't it? Uh, what did I do? 
Which one's jump though? Is it just push? Seven four. That's a better one. Seven point two eight. Du, 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 du. <laughs> Is that better? Looks it. Not best, but it's pretty good. I'm bad. That's what it looks like. And you meet hurdles, oh god. Right, okay. This is gonna be awkward. Oh yeah, <laughs> ruined your game boy. It's not far off the best right? Not bad. Ah, uh, the old javelin throw, here we go. A good one. Come on, 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 come on. Ooh. World record is 96. Angle's not enough, is it? Ah, uh, Shaz bat. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? You do a better angle. Triple jump. Oh, God. Too much angle. Oh, go jump again. Right, right. Bad. Ah, it's crap. Yeah, old Ronnie, right at the end. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty fun. What's the other? What else we got in here? 
Licensed by Nintendo. I'll go the block game. Play this on the MSX. Quite hard this game is. Yeah, Game Guy games are pretty good. Whatever that was, I don't know what I did. Oh shit. Yeah, there's some really cool games on the Game Boy. It's amazing what they did with that machine, considering, you know, what it was. Playing bad dudes, uh, Dragon Ninja, the other week. Oh, classic, that is. Bad little puzzle game, miss. Sort it. <laughs> Alright, take it easy, mate. No worries. Cheers for staying. I'll just little catch you round.
Oh, I missed one on this side. Ding, 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 ding. Ladies. Actually, speed it up. I think it is a little bit, isn't it? Got high school going. I don't know whether this really qualifies for a puzzle game. Maybe it does. Starting to get a blader. It's uh, a weird one. Sort of. Oh, you can push up to make it go faster, right, okay. come across any like weird awkward shapes yet. Seem to be getting that much faster either. Uh, 
just going to be a long game, I think. This play quite precise. This actually is an arcade game as well, isn't it? Yes, I think it is. That was getting harder. was a free then. Oh shit. Start then. We'll go Proteus. That took a while. 2000 Konami presents. <laughs> Fair enough. Kidding. Ah, it's got to be the octopus, isn't it? Manual. I think I may have played this before. God, this game's a good fun, isn't it? I guess that's double. Ripple laser. Ooh. Okay. They had a nice version of Proteus, didn't it? Even despite the actual slowdown. Yep. A bit tight through there, then, wasn't it? Oh, 
Oh, no, what an option. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I hate that, but he's thinking the produce games. Oh, got trouble. Right, is it the ship boss? Yeah. Quite impressive for a Game Boy. Halfway through the level. Come on. Yeah, it is very good. Yeah, it's that version's really nice. The PlayStation one's good as well. Got the um, PlayStation Collection, the Japanese one. Shipment is outy. Here we are, then. Yeah, it's really good, the PlayStation version. It's really good as well. This is good, the Saturn version, basically. I guess the missiles. I used to have that when, when I had my PlayStation. <laughs> Ended up buying it, played it loads. The option this time. It's quite cool for the Game Boy, this is. Very chunky. The music's really recognizable as well. options you can get. You can get two. Instantly started firing faster as soon as I picked that up, didn't it? Yep, I was set. Uh, rank has gone up. I hate that thing. Shield X, I reckon. Yeah, they got like um, a transparency effect.
but this is going to be a bit of a nightmare with the speed. Yep, that was uh, that was a bit tricky. Ah, that's tricky with a massive sprite. Yeah, she is. Right, you're gonna have to go a bit further down. It's a bit rough, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. room to get uh, through there. Failing. Oh, I got no speed. <laughs> Oops. Great, this is going to be fun with no speed. I think I might be better, I don't know. Right, so you basically just got to stay up out of the way. Well, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for a Game Boy. Quite impressive. Time 12. What was that other game you said? He said, I'm not going to make it massively late tonight. Do, do, do. Side arms. Might come back to that. That's quite cool. Um. Oh, God. Where am I? What am I doing? What's happening? I currently have no idea what I'm doing. She does walk like Tina Turner. Always reminded me of Tina Turner, actually, that thing. Say, uh, Damsel. Sexy idol. Oh, God, it's the wrong one there. Uh, Why well, I got side arms in it? Must have side arms. What the hell? Oh, unless it's got another name. Which I think it has. Oh god, what are sidearms called? Um, can't remember what the CD one is called. Yeah, I could do. Sidearms special. Must be on you. Ah, uh, Hyperdyne Sidearm Special. Oh, yes, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. When that work?
Right, just be. Before Christ, then. I'm going to need the auto fire for this, I think. Let me just double check, I need it. Six rises for the um, for the uh, Hugh card music. Oh, okay. Right, here we go then. Bugger it. Let's go auto fire on both buttons. Oh yeah, these are death. It's bad. Capcom Barrel. I haven't really played the second this uh, new game that much. I only had a couple of goals there. The other one, you used to have to pause it, didn't you, to uh, change. Yeah, it is like a different game, essentially. Oops, I didn't last long. It does look way less intense. You don't instantly respawn either. Round two. Separate rounds as well, which is different. Well, that's a remix uh, tune of the uh, original. There's nowhere near this as tense, is it? Okay, it's really intense. Get a bit more taste, you know. Ooh, that's new. It's like our type.
Yeah, the arcade's intense as hell, eh? Oh, where's my weapon though? It's weird. Pan pipes. And my pod's gone. Weird pan pipes. Oh, I didn't want that weapon. She owned this for ages and ages, and I am blue. Oops, got tagged. Go on. Ain't gonna get it. got that version I don't think you can go back I think you've got to reset it you got the standard version there with new music basically I prefer the original music do, 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 do. Crazy speed. Yeah, I feel the Hugh card one, as hard as that is. wasn't in there, was it? <laughs> Crazy fast though. <laughs> Collect everything, forget. Do, 
do 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 It's pretty decent. I just show the cartridge music. It's pretty much a cartridge game, isn't it? Essentially, just better music. But then you, it's quite cool they've added the other mode on you as well, mate. Definitely different. Let's see if I can get him. Snake thing soon. Quite colourful this version, aren't they? I'm sure this looks different to the actual uh, cartridge version. Tag straight away. Ah, <laughs> too much speed. Oh, the music's nice. The remix music's quite cool. Oops. Yeah, something about the original music I prefer. After you uh, die this, we'll have a look at the uh, cartridge one to see what differences are. I'm sure it doesn't look quite as colourful. the cartridge version looking quite this colourful.
Yeah, it was a really early card as well, wasn't it? I remember rightly. Great. Weapon was in the way in. Oops. Because the arcade one is not very colourful. It's quite a muted sort of game, like if you know what I mean. A lot of browns and reds and stuff. It's a strange memory. I remember buddy playing the arcade version of this when my, my old man and my mother had gone uh, shopping and I was sat in the house playing on the PC Engine. Trying to beat buddy um, side arms. That was a long time ago, that was. Died. Right, okay, let's try the cartridge version out. It's got hyperdyne side arms in it. Not side arms. Uh, oh no, it isn't. Sneaky. I said not defined, of course it is, I was using it. Oh no, it's not. It's weird. Ooh, joysticks uh, crapped out. That's weird. That's weird. Mr. Buttons are not working either. Let me reset the mister, just in case. <laughs> nope, joystick definitely crapped out. Yeah. That's my joystick broke, that's the question. I have my joystick issues now. Weird. I might have it on the wrong switch. I might have it on PS3. Ah, uh, right, yeah, I did it on the wrong switch, I think. It works better if you put it on the PS3 version. Yeah, I had it on PS4. It's probably way crapped out. Right, anyway. Uh, yeah, the music is quiet, don't you? Say damsel. Do, 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 do. Music seems more like the arcade one. Yeah, I switched you back now. I should have put it on PS3 mode. Do, 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 do. I prefer the arcade, but I prefer the cue card music, I don't know why. Pretty nice PC Engine game, this one. CD version is looking very much the same so far, isn't it?
I think the colours might be slightly improved in the, in the CD version, what do you think? I never actually managed to finish this on the PC Engine either. I guess quite tricky later on. Yeah, they are. I like the PC Engine sound chip, it's really good. Like I said, I'm a massive fan of the PC Engine anyway, so... I do love this little machine, it's brilliant. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? After all these years of owning one and playing one, I still come back and play on it. A lot. It's quite handy it's firing because it cancels the bullets. You just don't fire very fast. I only ever seen this in the arcades. Oh, back in the day, in one place. It used to be um, a pub in a place called Machen, which is not far from where I am. And um, it was in the pub. In the back of the pub, they had like two arcade cabs, and one of them was sidearms. It's the only time I ever seen it anyway. It's one of those games that didn't sort of end up in many places. Ah, oh, they look pretty much the same, don't they? Quite a nice looking game, this one. Big chunky sprites. Look at a slight bit of shimmer. And the horizontal scrolling. Ah. This is a little bit weird. I wonder if I can correct that. So it's on integer to scale, which is what I want. Colours overscan. Vertical crop. No, that's probably nothing I can do about it. Is what it is. I've got the hue card as well. Yeah, Arm Death is a hard game. I've played it a bit. It's quite difficult. I think the arcade is actually easier, even though it's essentially harder. Yeah, Forgotten World. This is, yeah, there's a game before this that Capcom did. Um, what's it called? Uh, sim similar sort of thing, basically going through tunnels. It's on the Mister, actually. There's a call for it. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but pretty much this is sort of like the sequel to that. And then, yeah, Side Art, uh, Forgotten Worlds is sort of, it's sort of like a follow-on, isn't it? I've seen it in a nightclub, that's cool. You need Autofire, though. That's essential in this game. Oh shit. I think last time I played the Arcadius, I played in um, Play Expo, I think it was. Be good when Play Expo and stuff comes back. I 
quite like the um, Blackpool one's really good. Probably end up going to that one, it uh, comes back. Oh, now we got super super speed. Yeah, they pretty much the same, innit? Probably prefer the cartridge music. Weird, that, isn't it? You think the CD music would be better, but essentially it's way better, but. Play Expo Manchester, the last one they did in like an old train station or something. That actually looked pretty cool. Yeah, the expos are good. It's a good day out, actually, to be honest. Well, what I normally do because of um, Blackpool's a bit of a weird place, mine. But I, I, I've only been there because of the Play Expo. The um, yeah, the Defi are the the Play Expos are they are fun. The Blackpool ones are good. Well, when, what I normally do is I'll time it on the weekend. We will go Play Expo on the Saturday or something, and then on the on, they stay overnight in Blackpool. And then on the Sunday, then go to Arcade Club, and then drive home from here. The only problem is about a four and a half hour drive to Blackpool, from where I live. I don't mind driving there, like, but obviously with the eyes, I can't drive it <laughs> at the moment. I quite like driving, so I, I don't mind the, the long drive. It's a bit knacker in mind, to be honest, but... If I do, I'll have, a day, I'll have like the Monday off work. Because uh, usually by the time I come home on the Sunday, I get Monday morning ruined. Yeah, we play Xbox. Well, it's pretty worth going to. The Blackpool one, I would say, is probably is the best one. It's smaller, so it's a bit more sort of compact. And, um, ooh, that's cool. So it's, it's a bit sort of... I don't the more selective of what goes there. It's a pretty good day. Lucky I didn't get tagged then. They've all been cancelled anyway since uh, COVID came about like I went to one just before COVID hit. Which was good. But we were right on the edge of when COVID kicked in. This level's tough on the arcade one. Sandy is fine away, cancels the bullets.
Capcom should bring them back, shouldn't they? All the little symbols you see with the cow with the bloody star thing. The barrel. They stopped doing them after a while, didn't they? They should bring them back. And Zenny's in game uh haven't seen it. it should be Nabag as well. I don't know why they stopped doing it. It would have been cool if they just carried on doing it. Doing too bad on this run. Do -do. Long level. Do -do 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 -do. Going on in chat. Yeah, I was lucky. I didn't do anything Christmas time. Yeah. It's a shame Capcom got rid of them, didn't they? They should bring them back. Boss, we go this time. Oh, never, never windmill. Laser firing, why not? Oh, I've lost my uh, thing. Not good. The extra bullets you fire when you're in that uh, double mode is uh, is useful. Firing at the walls, just hopefully oh, the, the double will come back up. Oh, got the cow. Oh shit. going well. Oh shit. That's what I meant to do. Oh well that was a waste really. <laughs> that restart points on the the new game definitely makes this game way harder. Oh, no. 
what's going on in chat. Yeah, the kind of version is really hard. It can still be done. It can be done on one credit, but it ain't easy. Oops. Shaking turn. Ah, oh, bugger, go on. It's a surprisingly... Bloody hell. It's a surprisingly close version to the car knob. Yeah, I wasn't expecting them to do that. Uh... Oh shit, no one come from the side. That was getting uh, tricky. Alright, last credit. Oh god, that, that didn't last long. Oh, I got tagged then. Tags. It was worth a try. <laughs> Tricky game. It's of um out of interest. Look at the arcade one. A little bit nicer in the PC engine, but not, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I actually prefer the PC Engine music. The arcade one's a little bit nicer, isn't it? Oops, I did try to move out the way of that. Enemy placements are pretty much the same, and they use just there's a few more enemies on the arcade one. Plays the same, though. No? 
That's a bit slower on here though. Yeah, it is close. So our difficulty is about the same, isn't it? To be honest, there's a bit more enemies on this one, though, but very similar. <laughs> Peace, angel ones. I forgot about music. This is more. Traditional Capcom sounding, I suppose. It's a bit more upbeat, isn't it, the PC Engine music? I love his credit, that'll shoot off him, basically. We got that strawberries in. Even then, look the same. That looks a little bit nicer, doesn't it? Didn't turn as good though. Oops. Yeah, it's very close, isn't it? Not quite the same, but... Bonuses in the same place. down like I did on the PC engine one. Now I got tagged.
Yeah, the PC Engine music is definitely more upbeat, isn't it? It's more like um, the music in this one. It's not so much music -y, is it? I don't know if that makes any sense. But the PC Engine one does definitely sound more like music. Pretty nice. Coolio. Right. That is uh, definitely me for tonight. So what's the time anyway? I have no idea. It's probably like stupid times. One o'clock. Yeah, me. Right. That was fun. Finally managed to do uh, Rendering Rangers live. Yeah, that was always. You got two videos on screen, Bill. That's we. Something about a huge what was that? A huge Chinese rocket. Uh, pieces of a huge Chinese rocket could crash into Earth. Yeah, Random Rangers are too. Be a nice game. Got that over with now. The only problem is uh, it means I'm probably going to have to end up doing uh, Super Turrican 2. I don't like it. don't like it. It's not good. It really isn't. <sighs> well, yeah. Missed it. A video up Astro City Mini on the Mister City Joystick, yeah, it works fine. Ooh, Neo Geo. Ooh, what's that? That's interesting. Somebody's got a uh, Neo Geo connectors on the Mister. Interesting. Right, I tell you what, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night, and I should be back tomorrow. I expect. I'm I'm writing the commando call for Mister away from home. The hell's that work? Did he post that? Oh, that was last year. Well, anyway, cheers for jumping in. Cheers for hanging around and the the chat and stuff. And um, I'll uh, probably catch you tomorrow. I expect. All right then. And anyone else is left in here? Cheers for hanging around and uh, watching. We appreciate it. And uh, so I'll probably catch you tomorrow night. Maybe we'll have a go with something else. Who know? Who knows? Right, so let me close this down. Oh, it's running fast, is it? Ah, right, okay. Yeah, that's the interesting thing about the Mr. Corn here. It's more like the arcade one. So it's running a little bit too fast. Yeah, th that's the thing with FBA. It runs games, but it doesn't go for accuracy. It just goes to run them. The meme is the more accurate one. That's why FB essentially half the time looks like it performs better. Yeah, so it's definitely not accurate. That's mad. It's mad you could spot it on a video as well. Oh, well. Right. Anyway, cheers for that. Yeah, maybe. Shouldn't matter with FBA, though. It should, that should just, you know, that should just sync whatever speed it is, shouldn't it? It shouldn't matter on your side or whatever. Or the, they've obviously, uh, it's not quite set right. It may be forcing it to 60 FPS. It may be one of those games. So, who knows? Anyway, I shall catch you later. Bye-bye.